During the week of Thursday, March 29th, the students of BGSU showed that they are not afraid to voice their opinions, even on subjects such as abortion. The university's Catholic group, Veritas, run by St. Thomas More University Parish, co-organized the abortion debate Thursday in Olds Camp 101 and decorated Carillon Park all week in over 3,500 wooden crosses, which they named the Cemetery of the Innocent. According to Veritas leaders, the actual debate went just as they had hoped. Overall, definitely I'd have to say the abortion debate was a huge success. Our goal behind it was just to allow people to be well informed. Um, with veritas meaning truth in Latin. That went really well. It, we had a really huge turnout. I was really glad to see all the students come together. And the whole purpose of the event was just to bring everybody together to talk about abortion. I think it was a very good debate. I think it taught people how to have good, logical discussion on the topic of abortion. The event featured two educated speakers. Scott Klusendorf, founder and president of the Life Training Institute at Atlanta, Georgia, and James Croft, vice chair of the Humanist Graduate Community at Harvard University. Each had different arguments, Klusendorf saying no one should be killed for supposed insuperiority, and Croft focusing on the woman and whether the fetus is an actual person. Well, the debate itself, uh, there was a lot of uh, fireworks uh, between Scott Klusendorf, who is a pro-life speaker, and James Croft, who is a pro-choice speaker. I mean, they really went back and forth. Um, when it comes to the issue of the dignity of human life and when does human life begin. Of course, with any debate, there was a pro-choice side. There was a Facebook group started to protest the pro-choice side of the debate. All in all, the abortion debate went off without a hitch. It served as an event that made people reflect on this forever controversial topic. Reporting for BG24 News, I'm Megan Gallier.